seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Welcome to the Eat and Critique Show with co-hosts Steve-O and Renee. Get ready to hear which South Florida restaurants serve the best seafood, Italian, Mexican, steak, or sushi. Who offers the best service, best portions, and atmosphere? Get ready, guys. Share your dining experiences with Steve-O and Renee each week while they share their dining experiences with you. Listen every week while Steve-O and Renee interview celebrity chefs, give away gift certificates to some of South Florida's finest restaurants, concert tickets, and share their top ten cuisines. Steve-O has written for the food sections of such publications as Boca Raton News, Boca Life Magazine, Parklander Magazine, and the Jewish Journal. He's no stranger to radio either. Steve-O has written two cookbooks, one for adults and one for children. He's a graduate of the prestigious Cooper Clinic for Fitness and Nutrition, and he graduated from the Florida Culinary Institute. Renee is the president of the largest communications and marketing firms in Florida, MEAS Incorporated. She's been the co-host of the Eat and Critique Show from its inception. Now let's get ready to call and share your dining experience at 877-927-6969. And now here's restaurant critics Steve-O and Renee. Good morning and welcome to the Eat and Critique Show brought to you by Madison's New York Grill and Bar, Boca Raton. I'm restaurant critic Steve-O and I'm long. I'm a long. I'm long. Yeah, hop along. I'm here along with my beautiful Starting to feel better, co-host, restaurant critic, Renee. It's been a long week. <laughs> What's okay. happening? Wow, you had surgery on Monday. I did. See where the trooper I am? You are. Yes. The show must go on. <laughs> they told you to break a leg and you decided just to have your gallbladder removed. Yes. Wow. That was interesting. I know. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. Listen, I said I want a refund. I went in Monday for surgery. I told them that I wanted a tummy tuck. I came out. I didn't have a tummy tuck. You didn't? No. You look much better. I need a refund. Yeah. Well, my eyes done something. If I'm going in for elective surgery, I want some. I want to come out with something good. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> <laughs> you look taller today. I do. I know. I'm wearing a tent. I have to oh. wear big clothing. So I'm wearing like a tent today. <laughs> no fitted clothes. Hey, we have the A team. Is that the end of my sympathy for today? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's it. We're going to pick on you the rest of the time. <laughs> oh, I don't think so. Hey, Settle down there, Jimmy. <laughs> we, we have the A team. Jimmy's back today. I know. Thankfully. So, You're not allowed to take vacation anymore, Jimmy. It's the law. Yeah. So <laughs> when, I get the New Year next surgery. <laughs> <laughs> so when we have all these gift certificates to give away today, we know the calls will be put through. You can actually call in. <laughs> and the people we had two people who called in last week if they had been put through we could have told them that the gift certificates to smoky barbecue will be ready at the end of this week so they're going out the end of the year <laughs> if they're lucky <laughs> hey today's show is <laughs> sponsored by our good friends at madison's new york grill and bar who offer the best lunch specials with their 10 lunch dishes for ten dollars each ten dishes <laughs> that's hard to say and they have ladies night where ladies drink free on thursdays can i say one thing i just have one to thing yeah one th i didn't say thang i did not say thang that's your word thang i just want to thank you for all your help this week isn't that nice of me that is, is that it for the <laughs> mopping year? the floor is this going to continue on or is that it that's it for me right are you, you mop the floor. That's what else did you once do? A year. Did you clean the toilets? No. No. Okay. <laughs> I do draw a line. Get the brush. <laughs> <laughs> brush this. <laughs> I do draw a line. You know? If you had hair, I would brush it, but no, you don't. I, listen, I felt bad for you. I mean, you're my sweetheart. I hated to see you in pain. So you mopped? Yeah. <laughs> How come the stains all over the floor? <laughs> That's your son, Brandon. The, no, it's not. The drip marks. No, it's not. It's too much good. soap. You put too much soap in. He's going to give me directions on cleaning the place. <laughs> anyway, Madison's New York Grill and Bar in Boca Raton is one of Renee and I. My, our favorite top 10 restaurants. We love Madison's we do. New York Grill. It's so easy. And the owner. Find. Such a sweetie pie. Yeah, well. I'm not going to call him a sweetie. Why pie. not? And me. <laughs> yes, of course, Jimmy, you're We're a sweetie. We're so glad you're back. The Eaton Critique Show is a fine dining restaurant show that is the most imitated restaurant show in South Florida. It is? By whom? 
You want you're gonna put me on the spot? Yes, of course there's, I am. You put me on the spot. There's several out there. Okay, so Steve O and I search for South Florida's finest dining establishments and sometimes not so finding fine dining establishments. We do find those. Yes. And we take the guesswork out of dining out. And we are actually coming to the end of our second year. We've made it. Yes. They say we haven't gotten there yet. Don't get crazy. I know, that's true. <laughs> and also, now we open for the Miami Dolphins, so we're on at 10 a.m. And the Dolphins are playing Chicago today. They got to win today. Yeah, didn't you tell me Chicago? What'd you tell me? You, you put playing Chicago. Who are they playing, Jimmy? Chicago. Oh, okay. Because he always her. makes mistakes. I just want to see. He just how... wants to make me look bad. No, I would hate doing that. And next yeah, week, tummy tuck, you can't look bad. That's, yeah. No, but Jimmy, they didn't do it though, Jimmy. That's what I'm saying. I need a refund. I asked them as soon as I got out of the surgery. I said, I looked down. I said, "Where's the tummy tuck? I see stitches, and it's still the tummy." <laughs> <laughs> I stop talking for a minute. I got Ken for margarita. Oh. oh, okay. Wait a minute. He's a little early. Um, All right. And next. All right, I'll hold on to him. Okay. Okay. You're going to hold on to him. <laughs> Does he know that? Easy for you to say. <laughs> and next week, we're going to be on at 10 a.m. again because the Dolphins have an early game. And if you'd like to watch today's show, just go to our website, theeatingcritiqueshow.com, and we are on the homepage live and in person. Yeah. If you're at home right now and you have a desktop, go to www. I just said that. I know. It's got to repeat me. Yeah, but I mean, some not everybody. Copycat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's back. <laughs> oh, she's so. The back. anesthesia wore off. Yeah. <laughs> she, I was nice all week. I'm done. <laughs> she, had, she had more of a grouch cookie this morning for uh, breakfast. Um, no, listen. Go to www.theeatingcritiqueshow.com and watch us live right now. It's 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 a lot of fun to watch. Yeah, don't get bossy over there. Because I'm so funny. Since when? Since the second day of Tisha Bob. <laughs> came out of anesthesia. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we have we did a great tasting on Friday night. We did. I mean, it was really cool. It's one of our old friend shows, restaurants. Yeah, easy for you to say. Yeah. Buddha Sky Bar. <laughs> and Buddha Gardens. They and have Buddha. actually two names. I know. So Damien's going to have to explain that. Yeah, see, the general manager's going to It's the same office. restaurant. It's really cool. It's right there in Delray on Atlantic Avenue, right across the street from Vic and Angelo's. I mean, it's literally almost on the train tracks. Yeah. Oh, my God, did we have a great tasting. I love that restaurant. I can't wait to share that with you. Um, they've actually been with us on and off for about two years, but... They were one of the original restaurants that started with us. Yeah. When people would go, who? Eat what? They still do that. <laughs> Eat what? <laughs> Eat this. <laughs> so, yeah, it's pretty bad to get turned down by IHOP. You did? Yeah. Denny's said, wanted us to come. I mean, they closed, but they wanted us to go. <laughs> anyway. All right. So Steve-O and I are doing a tasting at... Alchemist in Gastropub on Clematis Street. And of course, you gave me that name to read. Not on purpose. That's on purpose. And that's in Palm Beach. And okay, I have, we're going to talk about closings and openings of restaurants. But why don't we talk to Ken first? We're to talk to Ken first? Yes. Because you're not leading the show. I'm leading it today. I'm taking over. Oh, you, that's right. fine. Yes. Okay. So put Ken through. There he is. Hey, Ken. Hi, good morning, Steve-O and Renee. I hope you're feeling better after your little stay at the hospital. Thank you. That's very sweet. How you doing? Very good. Ken, wait a minute. How about my stay? I had to be there with her. Settle oh. down, man. I'm going <laughs> to freaking kick you under you. That's your battle, Steve. Yeah, okay. <laughs> He's going to have a battle soon. <laughs> How you doing, bro? Very, very good. We went out to dinner um, to the Brio. Tuscan Grill. Oh, yeah. Recommended. Which one did you go to? And we went to the one at the uh, shops at Pembroke. Oh, yeah, okay. Yes. It's, it's a fairly new place. Yes. It's mall. It's the first time I had been there, but we're kind of in between. And uh, we said, let's, let's take a run down that way. We, want, we were dying to see that new mall. So uh, I have to say, the place is incredible. The food was phenomenal. Uh, everything was, I had no complaints about anything we ate. Not Gin? bad for a chain, right? I mean, it's a chain, but it's it's really good. I was quite surprised, to be honest with you. We had a wonderful waitress. Her name was Gretchen. 
and she was very, very helpful in our selections. And if you like, I'll, I'll, just a real quick rundown of what we had. Um, she had recommended the uh, sliced steak bruschetta. We've oh, had that. Um, they is have so rare, good. What'd you think? Rare, rare filet, you know, with the gorgonzola, arugula, charred tomatoes. Uh, absolutely delicious. A great start for an appetizer. And um, let's see, Margarita had the, uh, oh, she, she, she's a fan of uh, shrimp and lobster, so she had the uh, shrimp and lobster fettuccine. Ooh. Wow. We didn't have enough, that. I couldn't finish it. I had to jump in and rescue her. Ah, yeah, I'm sure you did. <laughs> <laughs> and he could co-host with you. He's doing a really good job describing his tasting. He's actually, Ken's actually general manager of Brio's and Boca. <laughs> no, he's oh. not. <laughs> He was the winner of Critic for the Night. Yeah, him and Margarita did yes. the Vic and Yes, we Angela, had dinner with them. Which was fun. No, it was fantastic. And last but not least, I ordered, because I was on that uh, steak, that sliced steak bruschetta was so phenomenal, I decided to try the uh, Gorgonzola Crusted Beef Medallion. My goodness. And it just melted in your mouth. With really? Gorgonzola Crust with a mushroom marsala sauce. Very light. Did they and Did it, they give you money to come on today? <laughs> <laughs> No, no, no. I was just so I was so happy and so free meal. <laughs> and well, yeah, that too. But <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was the free meal was on you guys. Thank you very much. <laughs> we enjoyed it. Yes, like, trust me, we love giving away free food. Love it. Anyway, well, we 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 had the opportunity to meet Rachel, the general manager, and kudos to her. And um, I'll tell you what, I, I couldn't say enough to, for for a chain. I highly recommend that, uh, hey, lunch or dinner. And so did you say you were with the Eden Critique Show? He's meeting the manager. <laughs> <laughs> well, He's wearing a T-shirt of Oz. <laughs> no, but, I gave him the envelope, of course. You know, it has yeah. it, and they opened it up, and, and our waitress, Gretchen, called her over right away. And uh, we met Charlie. First she called Charlie. He was the manager. And uh, we just talked with him real briefly. And I said, well, we, we're just here. As, you know, we, we want a, a gift card. And... Um, the food was excellent. He, of course, we love the food there. It's yes. really, really good. And did you sit inside or out? We sat inside. It was still a little warm out, and uh, it'd been raining a little earlier, so it was a little bit humid out. So, uh, and and the desserts. Oh my God, I had the creme brulee. Oh, I had. The You've desserts. had that. Yes, it's really, it's really good. good. Absolutely. And then they have these little. I forget what they were called. They look like little parfait type of thing with fresh. Oh, berries. those are called little parfait type things. <laughs> Quiches. I just wanted to help you out. <laughs> they were quiches. Yeah. Well, hey, they had the freshest berries. I couldn't believe it. She, she, that was what Margarita ordered. And all in all, it was a great experience. I just wanted to call and thank you guys. And oh, man, thank you. And give you a quick little rundown of our experience and, and how, how well it went. And He emailed me and asked me if he could do this. I went, are you kidding me? Yes, absolutely. I was so this. glad that you enjoyed it. And you and Margarita are such great friends of the show, man. We love you guys. Well, thank you very much. I know you run a tight show, so I'm going to cut it short at this point. Please. And uh, thanks for calling, bro. Sins. Okay, bro. Thanks for calling in. All right, thank you. Bye. Okay, Tell have Margarita a great day. Hi. Okay, hey, that's our buddy Ken and Margarita. They won the Vic and Angelo's critic for the night. Yes, and, and I didn't even realize that they won Brio's. I forgot that. Yes. Too. Well, see, we give away so many gift certificates, like today. We're going to be giving That's up. why we have so many listeners. I know. <laughs> They're not listening to hear me. <laughs> That's for sure. We even have a gift certificate we're giving away today to a restaurant that doesn't open until 2015. Oh, really? I bet the phones are just... And wh be... <laughs> What's the name of that restaurant? Well, I can't tell you. No, I want to know. It's a secret. It's a secret. Yeah, sure. Secret. Okay. Hey, a... <laughs> <laughs> hey, again, if you won... Uh, we gave away two gift certificates last week to... Smoke Barbecue. Which is... Incredible. On Atlantic Avenue in Delray Beach. The gift certificates are going to be ready next week, so no fear. They're and making them up specially. And we're going to give away another one today, during today's show. We are. Yeah, if you And like. you'll have that in a month from now. <laughs> if you're lucky. Hey, we have some good news and we have some bad news. So you want to talk about restaurant openings and closings? Yes, guess which one's the good news and which one's the bad Okay, so let's do the closings first, okay? okay. Oh, no, let's do the openings first, because I'm scripted out. <laughs> Listen, I still have anesthesia in my head. <laughs> hey, there's a okay. lot of new restaurants. Okay, opening. so you go ahead. You talk about the ones that are opening. Okay. You're up. First restaurant is Utiki Beach in Jupiter. I heard that's wonderful. Jupiter or Utiki Beach? 
You tiki. Okay. Settle down there, cowboy. Boca Burger Bar. In Just because you mopped the floor, don't take advantage here. Boca <laughs> Don't get crazy. Temple Emanuel. No, no. Temple Street <laughs> Eatery. <laughs> Isn't that in Boca? Temple Emanuel. I've been <laughs> <Yes>. there. <laughs> Rick's Lobster Bar in West Palm Beach. I wonder what they serve there. They serve it. Listen, they say it with an A at the end. They spell oh, it with lobster, an A. Lobster. lobster. <laughs> Voodoo Barbecue in Boca Raton. That's their second restaurant they're opening. Latin House Grill in Pembroke Pines. Meat Eatery and Tap Room in Boca Raton. What do you they're think right they there. serve? <laughs> <laughs> it's a. It's, it's like a, Butcher Block. Where they bar. serve? It's a pickup bar. <laughs> it's a meat market. <laughs> It's a meat market. <laughs> it's that's funny. <laughs> Listen, to this restaurant. Mind your manners. Okay. Only in Wilton Manors could they have a restaurant called Mind Your Manners. So if you put your elbows on the table, they hit you with a ruler. I, I don't know what they hit you. <laughs> Purely pressed in Fort Lauderdale. Now this next restaurant, it's supposed to be really good. What's with the shoulder motion today? I don't know. I just <laughs> felt it. Lenora's Osteria in West Palm Beach. We've got to do it. We've got to do a tasting there. The next restaurant is Meat Market. Is it the Com same no, as no, meat? No, no, no. So since they put periods at the end of M E A T to different restaurants. Well, you know, Meat Market is huge in Miami. Great restaurant. I've been to a lot of Meat Markets. So, yeah. <laughs> so Meat Market is opening up in West Palm Beach. Here's another restaurant that we are dying to try. It's at Meisner Park. It's called Yoko San. Yoko San. <laughs> That's pretty good, right? That's the name of it, Yoko-san. Yoko-san. <laughs> what do you serve? Yoko-san. <laughs> wow. I can't wait to try the Yoko-san. <laughs> My mom is Tom. It's going to be Tom after the show. Tom, Tom Yoko-san. <laughs> okay, it was La funny Firm. the first two times. It's not okay. funny anymore. La Firm, which is a new restaurant opening up in Boca Raton. Oh, God. And Gabos. Gabos Pacha. I think it's caboose. It's not caboose. <laughs> it's gaboose. No, it's not. Okay, and then restaurant. It's Korean. Okay, it's gaboose. <laughs> it is. I'm telling you, it's not. Okay. What's go ahead. the difference? You ask them. I'm no. I'm just saying. What's the difference? Okay, then restaurants that are closing. Ceviche in news. Delray Beach, I which I love. Believe. I mean, they had tapas style dining. They they're actually a chain also, so they have other locations. Not they had Tapas Tuesday that you went to. You thought it was Topless Tuesday. <laughs> you were looking for the topless women. <laughs> I misread it. Go to a strip club, crazy no. man. <laughs> okay. Then Union in Delray, which actually has been it's now smoke. reinvented into Smoke Barbecue. Because Scott Kennedy, the, the owner of Smoke Barbecue, was in. I didn't realize that he was the previous owner. Okay. Now he's like... And packed. that place was packed the other Every night. Every night they're packed. So. Okay, and Pelican Landing in Fort Lauderdale, Salt Life in Coral Springs, which I had food poisoning from. I'll yeah. swear to God I had food poisoning. I ate there. I was up all night sick. Melting Pot in Fort Lauderdale, which I'm can not... Can you believe Melting Pot is Yeah, I'm not a big down? fan of Melting Pot. I know, but that's chain. I mean, how much stuff can you dip into sauce, know. you know, and cheese? Um, ever, okay. Let me ask them, seriously. Serious, just for a second. You're gonna be serious. Have you ever, have you ever uh, dipped? It? Well, you've gone to Melting Pot. Did you ever dip in your head? Son? <laughs> have I ever dipped your head in cheese? <laughs> I'm gonna dip your head. <laughs> I can't laugh today. You someone is just turning the radio on and they hear. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why nobody wants to come in the studio today. <laughs> Where's the guests? <laughs> I can't continue. Yoko -san. Fork and knife in Boca Raton. See, that's a fork and I'm knife. I'm spitting. I'm drooling here. I'm, <laughs> I'm spitting on you. You have a rag? <laughs> you, got, you got tissue in your chair. <laughs> you got a napkin in your chair. It's holding the chair together. They're, they're... They're, they're or in case you need to blow your nose. I don't know what that's for. <laughs> they're clear channel napkins. Oh, no, I'm sorry. They're I heart don't, media napkins. Don't take that napkin out. Otherwise you're falling uh -huh. off or you're done. <laughs> the microphones will fall off. <laughs> Everything they're, falls off. You take out. that napkin out, you're falling over. That's it. You're done. You'll be in this, the dolphin screen. <laughs> Going over, lean okay. forward. So listen, this next restaurant oh. is one of those restaurants we stop contacted. making me laugh. 
<laughs> that we, <laughs> oh, God. It's one of these restaurants we contact about coming on the show who huh. never called us before. Oh, fork, fork and knife. knife. Now they're out of business. Yeah. See what happens? I can't even see anymore. My eyes okay. are all watering. The cheese steak experience. experience in Fort Lauderdale. Texas Hold'em Barbecue in Fort Lauderdale. What are we reading here? I forgot already. Closings. Oh, closings. Okay. Ernie's Italian Chop House in Lighthouse They've Point. They've been around for a long time. I, can't I never heard of them. What? Honestly, I never heard of them. Sweet Bananas Grill in Wellington and Fort Lauderdale. The Cottage in Lake Worth. And the Cottage in Boy and Beach. Yeah, I guess all the cottages. you got to close yes. them all. Cheesesteak Experience in Fort Lauderdale. Okay. So here are some restaurants getting ready to open. Dun, dun, dun. And this first one's supposed to be really good. Louis Bossi's Restaurante Bar and Pizzeria in Fort Lauderdale. And the Avocado Grill in West Palm Beach. Sloan's Ice Cream. They're on um, Atlantic Avenue in Delray. I know. They're opening up another location in that's Lauderdale. Ex- that's very sea. exciting. Green Bar and Kitchen in Lauderdale by the Sea. We've eaten there. Which is, it's really good. It is good. Which I was surprised about. Oh, look at the next one. The Woods in Jupiter. That's Tiger Woods' his new restaurant he's going to be opening up. Did you contact him? I did. I is he coming cat. into the studio? I got his caddy. Assistant caddy. You did? Yeah, I couldn't even get to the caddy. Can the caddy come on? I'll take the <laughs> caddy. <laughs> Margaritaville in Hollywood. Max's Social House in Delray. And anything Max has done is always exactly. wonderful because their restaurants are really incredible. I'm a big fan. Apiero in Delray Beach. Tap 42 in Boca Raton. And Farmhouse Kitchen in Boca Raton. So those are restaurants that are getting ready to open. Right. Do you have any specific dates? No. Okay, that was good. They're just going to open. <laughs> Sometime this year. <laughs> Keep checking. Now, we've talked about a lot of the new restaurants that have opened up this year. So we're going to talk. And don't make me laugh. I it hurts to laugh. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to talk about some of these new restaurants that have opened up this year and who are the best of the best of those restaurants. This is exciting. I this can't is, wait. Hey, wait. This is there is, a drum roll? Can I tell you something? What? This is what people listen for because they want to find out new restaurants that are out there. You think? Well, that's what one person told me. <laughs> out of 150,000? <laughs> Good months. job, Steve. Al. Good like job. Eight months ago. <laughs> so the... I got a drum roll. <laughs> Thank God Jimmy's back. God, we missed you, bro. Jimmy, no more zip lining. Next time you go zip lining, I'm going with you. I told you that. Except the only thing is I told you once before I have acrophobia, so if I go zip lining, I have to go very low to the ground. Maybe you can walk it holding on. <laughs> Almost. My feet could be like an inch <laughs> off the ground. I'll go zip lining. Okay, so the first restaurant is Sakura, which is an Asian fusion restaurant in Fort Lauderdale that overlooks the ocean. Go Bistro in Hollywood. And you know what ramen is, right? The ramen that you buy for 15 cents in the supermarket? <laughs> ramen noodles, they're like 15 exactly. cents a pack? Well, When you're broke, you go buy them all? This is fine dining ramen. This is 19 cents How could, a pack. How could you have fine dining ramen? <laughs> what is mine? <laughs> fine dining ramen? Fine dining ramen. They do a Thai, they do Chinese, and Brazilian. So they take ramen and they cover it up with food? Well, that's okay. Does that sound appealing? Anyway, Fork and Balls, who we hope that we're going to be doing something. That's about. some name, Fork and Balls. <laughs> okay. I like the way I say it better. Well, it's, Renee, they're going to cancel. You cannot say that. No, I'm excited to taste there. Okay, I can Listen, talk. you have to have a sense of humor if you're going to come on the show and let us taste at your restaurant. Oh, my God. Beyond that. You have a big sense of humor. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so, anyway, they're on Las Olas. They're this is part of the restaurant group people who have S3. Which is wonderful. S3, we've tasted the S3. Um, it's, yes. Tarp and Ben. Let me just say something about S3. The atmosphere is just so mm-hmm. magnificent. It's like right on the beach, on A1A. Exactly. And like Fork and Balls came from... Did maybe, you like the way I sucked up? I love it. I love it. Um, Fork and Balls is came, it was inspired by the meatball shop in New York. Have you ever heard of the meatball shop? No. I haven't either. Just because I'm from New York, you think I heard of everything? Yes. I've been here for a lot of years. Okay. okay and then Bao in Las Olas, which offers high-end sushi. And talk about fusion. Bao has created Indonesia, Java, West Indies, and Korea. And Steve-O and I loved Bao. I love this restaurant. The atmosphere there, too. It's like on the intercoastal. You can yeah, actually beautiful. sit outside. They have music and tiki torches. It's really, really a pretty restaurant. They and Chef Mark Rivera. 
settle down there. You're getting on my nerves now. Okay, Chef Mark Rivera <laughs> is a genius. He really oh, is. He's amazing. And they have an open concept kitchen. I mean, you can watch them cook like Valentino's, which I love. I actually love Valentino's I do too. in Fort Lauderdale. We're going there with Big Ange. Oh, I know. That's right. We you got to contact her, definitely. Right. Okay, here we go again with the meat market. Okay, but listen. This meat... is the one in Palm Beach. Yes, but they started in Miami Beach. Okay. This concept was created by owner David Tornek and chef owner Sean Brazell. This is the, you know what you wrote? You didn't write third location. You wrote thread. You try to screw me up Wait, all whoa, the time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This, <laughs> this is a thread location. <laughs> this is the thread location. I, this, I meant to write that. Okay, they started the restaurant. Trent on South Beach, and they're well known for the steakhouse. Obviously, if their name is Meat, then they're well known for the but steakhouse. Food is really good, though. I mean, we're going to be going there hopefully next month. Okay, I'm excited about that. And see, here's let Lenora's. me recuperate first. Okay, okay. L Lenora's Osteria in West Palm Beach on Clamata Street serves classic Italian with a new age twist with their homemade sauces and pasta. Big family. They, the fam It's a family-owned restaurant. They actually shut down about 10 years ago, and the uh, the daughters and sons have revived it. Are you friends with them? We're like this. <laughs> they don't even know who you are. Steve. They're watching us on TV. Steve Ho. <laughs> Avocado Grill in West Palm Beach focuses on small plates with a slant on sushi and a full raw bar, and they'll concentrate on fresh seafood and vegetables. And, of course, smoke barbecue on Atlantic Avenue. Yeah, our friend Delaware. Scott Kennedy and that chef. What was the pit master's name? Oh, Brian. He was amazing. I said he's the real deal. His name is pit, not chef, pit master Brian Terrell. Well, he's the executive chef. It's in his, his jacket. I know. And, he, and he worked at Oklahoma Joe's in Kansas City. Which, which is, is big, cons right? That's they're big. considered the finest barbecue restaurant in the United States. Okay. And then... Tucker Duke's Lunchbox. That's some name. Lunchbox? This is their second lunch. So do they only serve lunch? No. They only serve breakfast. Oh, my God. That's breakfast not an unusual lunch. name. Lunchbox. They're located in Deerfield, and this is the brainchild of Brian Caranudo, the two-time win winner on the reality cook-off competition Cutthroat Kitchen. And don't laugh because I'm going to cut your throat. You're sitting there laughing because I can't talk today? I saw you out of the corner of my eye. I saw you out of the corner of my eye. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Really? I've seen you at the corner. I'm watching you over here like a hawk. <laughs> H-O-W-K? Listen, hawk. I watch. I, I see everything. I see everything. Jimmy, how do you pronounce G-A-B-O-S-E? Um, I'm not going to try. Eh. <laughs> Caboose. 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 I'm going to potchka you. <laughs> There's all of our Jewish listeners laughing their heads off now. <laughs> I just snorted. <laughs> Again? <laughs> Stop making me laugh. Okay. So. I've got sutures. Sutures? <laughs> what the heck's a sutures? Can you go on about your caboose? Okay. Gaboss. Okay. They're in Lauder Hill around Gaboose commercial. Gaboose potchka in the duckers. <laughs> Pachka, you and the Tuckers. <laughs> She's got her own little show going here. This is why the studio's empty. <laughs> anyway, I, let me just. Like, There's the guests. <laughs> they don't need chess. They know what's coming in. <laughs> anyway, listen. I want flip flops we're today. Gonna, let me, let, we, 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 okay, hold okay, okay, so on. Let me just tell you this. They fly in their seafood every day from Korea. How do they do that? With an airplane. No, I <laughs> <laughs> I know that. It's called FedEx. I don't believe that. Every day they're going well, to the airport. they won't be advertising with okay. us again. <laughs> Every day they're going to the airport to get to get seafood? Yes. Does that make sense to you? Yes. That would be very costly. What do you want them to bust it in from no, Korea? I'm just, I'm just saying. Doesn't that seem slightly costly? Slightly. Okay. But they're in luxurious Lauder Hill. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> hey Jim, let's go to break. To first? Yeah, let's yes. go to break and we come back. We have the general manager of Buddha Sky Bar, Buddha Garden, Mr. Damian Burke, our buddy. I can't wait to get him on the line. So we will be right back. 
Hi, I'm Steve O, restaurant critic on the Eat and Critique Show. When Renee and I find a great restaurant, we want to share it with our listeners. Let me tell you about Madison's New York Grill and Bar in Boca Raton. We made Madison's New York Grill and Bar one of our favorite restaurants right after we did our tasting. Madison's serves both lunch and dinner, and if you need to impress a client or a friend, stop by Madison's for lunch, where they offer 10 items at $10 each. Try some of their lunch specials like grilled barbecue chicken breast, grilled salmon, rigatoni bellinese with meat sauce, or my favorite, their grilled chicken Caesars. Madison's is west of I-95 on Glades, next door to Jared Jewelers in Boca Raton. Renee and I received so many emails from listeners thanking us for turning them on to Madison's New York Grill and Bar. Try their crab cakes or another one of my favorites, their baby back ribs, which fall off the bone. Save room for their mouth-watering key lime pie. Call them at 561-994-0808 to make reservations. That's 561-994-0808. Please tell them you heard about it on the Eat and Critique Show. This is Les Gould of Hardcore Pawn, American Julian Loan, and i got the two best people in South Florida, Steve O and Renee, my favorite people on the radio. Hi, this is Andrew McKinney, General Manager of Meisner Park in beautiful downtown Boca Raton. I love listening to the Steve Owen Renee Eat and Critique radio show. Here we go, Mike's hot. And we are back. Hey, before we go to Damien, uh, we have a gift certificate to give away first to Smoke Barbecue. You got to try this restaurant. It's really, gift really good. In Delray, we're going to give it to the third caller at 877 927 6969. Look, the that, phones are lighting up already. I know. It's, I know it's, that place we passed by the other night. Oh, it was jamming. It, no, I'm just saying it was jamming over there. If you like great barbecue, and you know I'm from Texas, so if I say it's no, great. No, we would never know that. If I say it's great, they gave us a $3,000 budget to advertise with no, us. They no, they didn't. Not. Have anything to advertise with us. Where's my portion of it? Okay, so call us at 877-927-6969 for a $50 gift certificate to Smoke Barbecue. Smoky Barbecue. No, it's smoke barbecue. It's not smoky. It was very smoky. It was not smoky. You're not even allowed to smoke there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's time for Buddha Sky Bar. Do you want to take a winner first? You're getting no, crazy we, over we don't here. Have a winner yet. Oh, okay. That's my job. I'll take care. Of it. Okay. Thank bro. you, Jimmy. At least somebody does their job. Let's go to our good friend Damien. Hey, Damien. Hey, good morning, guys. How are you doing? Oh, good. His voice sounds good on the air, doesn't it? It does. Wow, bro. Well, we missed you in studio today. Oh, I know. Well, thank you, though, so much for having me. It's well, our pleasure. listen, you've kind of been with us since day one. I was just thinking about that last night. He has, yeah, yes. So, And you've been with Buddha Sky Bar forever. Yes, since they, uh, since they opened. Really? Yeah, it, 10 o'clock this morning. <laughs> <laughs> they're not open today. Are you open on Sundays? Yes, seven days a week. Oh, they're open. Oh. Okay. So listen, Buddha Sky Bar, Buddha Garden is on Atlantic Avenue in Delray. Right next to the train track. Right next to it. And you've got, you've got really good parking, don't you? Well, it's, uh, we actually have a lot of different ways to, you know, for parking, we have our own parking spots, first come, first serve right on the side. But we also now offer our own Buddha carts, which can pick you up at your house within a mile and a half radius, bring you to the restaurant, and drop you back off. That is so cool. I love that concept. Do you go to Coral Springs? <laughs> <laughs> can you come and pick me up? <laughs> well, we stretch it a little bit sometimes. But uh, listen, they could come pick me up on Friday night. I'm ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's great for, you know, in season time, if you tricky sometimes to find parking and you know also if you want to have to do drinks and not worry about anything great concept. i love that idea i really do so listen you and chef rob blew us away friday night with the dishes that you served us i mean they were unbelievable better than the first time we were there uh last year well i've always said i'm a big big fan of your restaurant thank you can i ask you a question why is it tell everybody why the restaurant is called two different names um, really, the only reason is just for guests making reservation. It helps differentiate whether they want to sit on our first floor location at Buddha Garden or on the third floor at Buddha Sky Bar. And what's the difference sitting downstairs versus sitting upstairs? Um, they're, they're, the menu is completely the same. Um, we have different types of seating, a little something for everyone. You know, we have nice outside patio seating in Buddha Garden. Um, 
know, they both both have uh, beautiful decor. The third floor, you have glass ceilings, you know, small high top with cables. Um, you know, get that view going down towards the beach on Atlantic Avenue. And, uh, you know, beautiful bars in both restaurants. We also have a rooftop chef's table. That's in Buddhist Taiwan on the third floor. That's uh, amazing. I have. I, I want that table. Guy. Next time I go there, I want that table. I mean, you actually sit out. I mean, you're out on the patio. I know. You walk through the overlooking. kitchen, overlooking all of Atlantic yeah. Avenue, which is amazing. And I have to tell you something. We've sat in different levels. It was really nice sitting upstairs. I thought that was a great choice, Damien. Yeah. And that was your first time on the third floor, right? Exactly. Yes. I'm coming back to the second floor. Yeah, we used to make out there on the second floor. <laughs> Hey, I'm listen, Valentine's Day, yeah. listen, we're going to give you some extra time today, Damien. I hope you can stay with us. Um, Absolutely. We're going to go to our two winners. Okay. Just get them. Take the winners, and then we're going to come back to Buddha Sky oh, Bar because yeah, got so I don't want to move away you. from Buddha Sky no, Bar. Not at all. I love this restaurant. I got one. I'll get the other one. Okay, okay so, so who do we have? You got Paul first. Hey, Paul, congratulations. You just won a gift certificate to Smoke Barbecue in Del Rey. Don't get too excited, Paul. Is Paul there? Jimmy, I think he... Tell him to call back. Okay. Okay. Well, call you... us back, Paul. If he doesn't call back, we'll keep it for ourselves. No problem. <laughs> Do we have the next winner? This is just working really well today. No? We don't have another winner? Let's go back hang to... Hang on, okay. okay. He's got him. Okay. Let's see. hang on live air. <laughs> hang on, Steve-O. <laughs> don't say a word. <laughs> it's a leave. It's a leave? Yes, in case we've got a headache. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> my God. <laughs> a leave. How you doing? Hi, I'm good. How are you? Oh, it's a female. I love hearing the females calling in. Well, you just won a gift certificate for Smoke Barbecue in Del Rey. Oh, wow. Thank you. I love that little excitement. Where? What part of South Florida do you live? I think she's shuffling a deck of cards. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm actually on the elliptical, but I'm... Oh, she's on the. Oh, old, oh good. Take Look, it off a oh, take it off a speakerphone. Let me just tell you something. That's good because you could work out now and then go eat there. <laughs> that's a good thing. And then I might have to work out after too. Yes. <laughs> do you do you like barbecue? Yes. Oh, Why yeah. would she call in if she didn't like barbecue? Maybe she's got an uncle that likes barbecue. Okay, settle down there, cowboy. Well, you'll love this place. Thank you. Thank you. Can't wait to try it. Never been there. Okay, okay, let her go finish her workout. And stay on the line, and we'll get all your information. Okay, great. Thank Thanks you. for calling in. A leave. A leave. That's a cool name. That's a little blue pill. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go back to Damien. So, bro. Let's talk about our dishes. Let's do. Let's talk about our dishes. Friday night. So we'll tell you the dish, and you could just describe it. And I have to tell you, our server was so Gary. on it. Gary. You picked, like, the perfect server. So who determined the menu, you and Gary? Uh, Gary, I said, you know, bring him out some, uh, some, some dishes and, you know, just guide him through it and give him an experience. It was an experience. It's always an experience there. It is. Because there's nothing that you eat there that is not phenomenal. Everything is just incredible. But, you know, I want to say this. We have sent so many people to Buddha Sky Bar, and for some reason with Buddha Sky Bar, People actually write us. They don't always do that. They write us to tell us about how great their experience was there. Oh, great to hear. Yes. So, I mean, you guys really do a great job. And it's so easy. You cannot go. You have a three-part menu. Is that right? Uh, yes. We have different, um, you know, we have a little of everything. I like to think, you know, we have a great, beautiful sushi menu with either raw sushi, sushi rolls, tempered. Uh, we have our robotic grill, which is a wooden coal fire grill, which we uh, cook things like cod skewers, salmon, shrimp. You know, we have our wagyu beef skewers. Um, then we have our wok entrees, which, you know, a little of everything. Um, so dim sum menu is, is... And you have the game. best dim sum. I've had those before. We didn't actually have them Friday night, but we've had them previously. They are incredible. You know what's so amazing, Damien, about your your menu, your dishes, is Renee is not a big sushi eater. Right. And she loves your sushi. That's well, we're going to get into that in the tasting because one of the sushis that I had was truly amazing. I mean, it was really incredible. It's so cool watching you eat yes, sushi. Yes, because I'm not a big fan of sushi, but you sold me. 
I have to say. So we start out with the edamame. So tell everybody about that dish because I'm a big fan of edamame. But you do something different with your edamame that makes it totally unique. And it, I could have sat there the whole night just eating the edamame. Me too. Uh, it's addictive. You know, it's, uh, you know, it's one of our staple dishes. We take something simple like edamame where, you know, a lot of places will just do it with uh, sea salt tossed in. But we add a little truffle oil and togarashi. And togarashi is like a Japanese spice, so it gives it a slight kick. And, you know, the truffle oil is... It just makes the dish. I mean, I actually smelt it when it came out to the table. Gary brought the, the dish out to us, and I said, wow, that smells unbelievable. And then the next dish we had was the rock shrimp tempura, and that was a big shizzle. You brought us out a big bowl of that. It was so good. Yeah, we just tossed with the Japanese aioli, um, little chives, and, you know, it's, we just get a really good product of shrimp and very tasty. It was incredible. You know, really when we was. do our tastings. I think the Handsome Rob roll. Yes. Yes, which was really, really good. Had a little kick to it. Yeah. Well, um, it's yellowtail and jalapeno inside the roll. It's oh, that's where the kick came from. Okay. Yeah. And then a spicy tuna on top. And then we'll top that off with avocado, a little Tobin John sauce, eel sauce. Oh, you got everything. Uh, crispy shallots, chili strings, chives. It was really you know, good. Everything say, was so I want to say one more thing about the rock shrimp. We try to pace ourselves when we do a tasting. I could not stop eating the rock shrimp. I know. You shrimp. ate the whole bowl. You it really was did. that good. I mean, when you could take us out of our pace, that means you're doing You actually put job. the chopsticks down and took the spoon. Oh, sorry. <laughs> the drink out of the bowl. Yes, he was. <laughs> Drinking out of the bowl. Then we had, then the chef brought over the Predator tempura shrimp sushi which i love see i'm not a big fan of the raw um seafood sushi so i like the fact that you do also offer something like this for myself yeah i loved it and then the el guapo the el guapo spicy tuna was my favorite of the Absolutely. evening this was an, a really unusual sushi dish so tell everybody about that sushi well, that that roll is, uh, is baked, baked that in the oven, and it's got blue crab, spicy tuna. Then they have a little Parmesan cheese, a sp spicy aioli, and bake that in the oven. Drizzle a little bit of eel sauce with rice puffs on top. That was my favorite of the entire evening. It really was. And then we had the duck salad with kale. <gasps> that was amazing. Which I loved. So tell everybody about that because that was unusual. Well, I think the key ingredient that pulls that dish together is the, uh, you know, the sesame ginger vinaigrette dressing. It just uh, really goes well. And you have uh, cashews, mandarin orange segments in it, the kale. And, uh, you know, we use real duck breast. And it just a really great dish. It's one of our new additions that we've added to the menu. Damien, I loved it. It actually tasted almost like it had like a peanut dressing on it. Yeah. Yeah, they have that. Uh, it's all tied in, you know, secret ingredients. We can't give it all away. <laughs> I'll come back there to eat it again. And I'll go with you. <laughs> yes, you would love it, Jimmy. And then the Pizist de Resistance. The f Did you like that? You speak Yiddish. <laughs> that was good. I loved it. Okay, our final entree was the truffle prime filet with the lobster mashed potatoes and the stream beans. Oh. I did not know what to eat first from that whole array of food. So tell everybody about that whole, all those three dishes. Well, our filet mignon that we use, um, we top that off, you know, once it's cooked with a uh, panko breading, it's got a little wasabi in it, and then drizzle a little truffle oil on it. And, uh, you know, you think wasabi on a filet, it might be a little overpowering, but it really just works beautifully together and melts in your mouth. It did. And, uh, yeah, the lobster mashed potatoes, I think, is a great pairing with it. And, you know, people will come in or just, you know, even order a takeout just for our lobster fried green beans. That. The lo lobster and, mashed uh, potatoes had pieces of lobster, chunks of lobster in it. It was incredible. And yeah. your the, yeah. the, the, the stir-fried French green, green beans, beans yeah, out of this have world. Yeah, radishes in it, and, you know, it's just really flavorful dish. Those, and, I love those. I really did. Chefs, they have a lot of talent to them. Well, before we go any further, we're going to talk about your hours and happy hour, and you've got a big Halloween promotion coming up. Let's give away not one, but two $50 gift certificates to Buddha Sky Bar, Buddha Garden, 
Call us right now at 877-927-6969. Let's, because of time, we'll take the first two callers. Okay. Make it and easy this on is, Jimmy. Let me tell you something. If you're going down to Atlantic Avenue, you have to go to this restaurant because not only it, as, is it fine dining at its best, but it's such a happening place. I mean, it's three Energy. levels. They're playing music and pictures. And it's just a really fun place to go. It really is. Birthday parties going on. Everything. Which was so cool how you, when you people have their birthday at Buddha Sky Bar, the cake with the uh, sparklers coming out. Yeah. There were a lot of parties going on that night, right, Damien? Yeah, oh, yeah. It's, it's a great energy there every night. Um, and, you know, people have a lot of fun when they come. And it's not just the food and the service. It's you know, the whole package. I like exactly. Thing. Perfect. Do you know what I always say about a great restaurant? When you're sitting there and you're thinking to yourself, I can't wait to come back here again, then you know that this is the place to go. Because every time I sit at your restaurant and dine there, I can't wait to come back again. I know. We, all, we love having you. Thank we've you. We've always been that way. Our boards are so lit up. Yes. Do we have a winner? Oh, we got, yeah, we could have had 20 winners. Okay. Who do we have, Jimmy? I got Rod, baby. Okay. Rod? Rod, Rod. Sterling? Rod. Steiger. Rod. Steiger. R-O-D, R-O-D, Rod. Okay. Hey, Rod. Is this A-Rod? <laughs> He's on. Go. Okay. Hey, Rod. Congratulations. You just won a $50 gift certificate to Buddha Sky Bar, Buddha Gardens. Good morning. Excellent. I'm getting hungry listening to all this food. Talk. I know. <laughs> yeah. You're going to love this restaurant. Do you like, are you a sushi either? Yeah, give me your first name, buddy. <laughs> I love sushi. Animal. I love sushi. Sushi, ceviche, I like, I like all that stuff. You're going to absolutely yeah, love this restaurant. I hear Jimmy in the background taking somebody else's name. I know. Tell, uh, what, right, pa- what part of town do you live in, Ryan? Actually, I'm in uh, East Pompano, but I frequent Delaware uh, quite a bit. So oh, you're going to love all the, the you're going to love the energy on Atlantic. You're going to love that. Go there for some drinks and then have dinner and stay afterwards. You're going to love it there. Oh, no doubt. I've been up there for uh, many things. The uh, St. Patrick's Day parade in particular, but uh, I love Delray. So beautiful. Uh, I, I, Appreciate the uh, the prize. Yeah. Hey, hang on. We'll get all your information, and we'll try to get your gift certificate out this year sometime. No, it'll go out this week. <laughs> That's very nice of you. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. Thanks guys. for listening. Have a great bro. day. Thanks for calling in. And okay. Who another? else? Who else do we have? Who who else? <laughs> I got Adam. 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 Hey, Adam. Adam. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Congratulations. Oh, uh, thank you. I listen to you guys every week. Because I come to work and you guys are on, and at first I was like, "What is this?" And now I'm addicted. You guys. Aw, thanks, cousin Adam. Thank you. I do have a cousin Adam, by the way. <laughs> I really do. So happens sushi is definitely on my top three of favorite foods and cuisines. So I, I just couldn't be happier. Can I tell you something? I pro- I hope you'll call back after you go to Buddha Sky Bar. I'll bet you this is going to become your favorite place. It's that good. It really is. Oh, I want to try that Adamari. And what part? Oh, of- you have to. Yes. Oh, yeah. What part of uh, town do you live in? I live in West Palm Beach, um, closer to Boynton. I okay. Guess, but still in West Palm. Yeah, you're not far. Perfect. You're not far. You'll hey, enjoy it. In, yeah, enjoy it. Stay on the line. We'll get all your information, and you get hey, to go to Buddha Skyboard. You're Thanks, welcome. Adam. Thanks for calling in. Bye bye. Damien, you still with us? I'm here. Hey, you're going to have some new uh, fans. Yes. Oh, we love it. You know, every person who's ever won, I was telling Damien this the other night, every person who's won a gift certificate, they all come back and first of all, they tell us how nice you were to them. Yes. You let them sit down. Well, Damien, you're such a sweetie, Paul. You really are. <laughs> that's, that's nice of him. <laughs> <laughs> no, but they always brag about not just how great your food is, but how great the service is and the atmosphere, how great it is. Yeah, you know, the staff uh been with me for a very since the beginning and uh with the kitchen I you know, obviously you can't do it without them. Tell everybody your hours. Well we're open every day at four o'clock. Um Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, we're open till ten o'clock, Wednesday and Thursday until eleven. Friday and Saturday we're open until uh one, two in the morning. Okay. We have a DJ every Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Love it. Uh, let me tell you, a happy hour is great. Four to six o'clock, seven days a week. It's available anywhere in the restaurant, you know, except for our private party rooms. And it's, you know, we have like an entire menu that's all half the price of our food. It's, you know, 
I'm going there for happy hour. No it's half price. Wow. How about tell everybody about this Halloween promotion, which is the second year that's coming up. Um, I'm excited. This is uh, one of our greatest events. We started it last year with our annual, first annual Halloween Buddha Ball. And uh, just an incredible party, a lot of fun. Everybody dressed up. We have three prizes, and we have, we'll basically pick three categories. You have the scariest, con uh, scariest costume, the funniest, and the sexiest. And we'll have a winner from each category. Uh, last year, we gave away $5,000 in prizes. Wow. And I'm dressing as the red dragon roll. I'm going to come as a lobster. <laughs> I know how much you love that. I, uh, I do. I love that. I force you to try some new stuff this time. Do you know the guy next to us sitting at the table? I overheard him saying, "You have got to try the red dragon roll. It's out of this world." It really is. Yeah. Us. So now, when is the Halloween promotion? Uh, it's this Friday, uh, the Friday of Halloween. Okay. And um, it starts at ten o'clock, and you know the big party is in Blue Garden on the first floor. A lot of energy, and you know, like one of the prizes is a bottle of Louis the Thirteenth, and it's just you know, a great time. We'll be open till two in the morning. That sounds like fun. Give everybody a phone number to make reservations. Yeah, it's five six one four five zero seven five five seven. And your address? It's two seventeen East Atlantic Avenue, Delray Beach, Florida. You can't miss them. They're right. Actually, you know something, Damien, I know this. If you sit on the third floor, you know, the ambiance, that train is definitely part of the ambiance, <laughs> I have to say. And if you sit on the third floor, you don't really, the building doesn't shake as much. I know. I was kind of disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> I like the vibration. <laughs> don't get crazy over no, there, cowboy. <laughs> owner Chris Licata actually probably did the whole building in cement. Cement. In cement. Cement. I think. Like my, now, you, one thing is, we get a lot of people calling us and emailing us, where's a good place to have a party or a banquet uh, or a special event? You guys specialize in that. Yeah, we have, you know, some incredible rooms, um, and we do all types of parties, you know, whether it's a pharmaceutical dinner, a wedding reception, birthday parties, and uh, we have three party, private party rooms on our second floor, um, you know. One room, it's a big marble table, sits up to 20, big screen TV, has a sliding glass doors that open all the way up to our balcony. We have a drink rail and bar stools out there. Open nice. Atlantic Avenue. You know, you have all the bells and whistles that you need for, for a great party. And, uh, you know, then our rooftop chef's table, that seats up to 11. That's and cool. I want a party there. That is I cool. I told you that a million times. That is a Anytime cool place. You Yes. Listen, bro, I know this was tough for you today because you worked a late, late, late shift last night and you were packed. So, Renee and I so much appreciate you coming on today. And we want to thank also Chris Licata, the owner. Absolutely. Of, and also Chef Rob. And, and Gary. And Gary. Actually, you're just your whole staff. The whole staff was wonderful. And they always are. Thank you. Including yourself. <laughs> I try. <laughs> Thanks for coming on with us today and sharing about Buddha Sky Bar, Buddha Garden in Delray on Atlantic Avenue. And we just so appreciate you, bro. Oh, thanks for having me. You guys are the best. You know, Thank you. Show. We love you. Thanks for coming on. All right. I'll talk to you soon, guys. Okay, okay. perfect. Thank you. All right. Hey, listen, I hate to be a downer, but this is... this is hate this, to be a downer? Yeah, but, I mean, when you talk about taxes... Okay. Oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> so Jimmy, did I tell you I'm so happy you're back, Jimmy? Yeah, really. If you're having problems owing the IRS and you don't know what to do and you, and you don't want to, I promise you, you don't want to go up against them, there's going to be a free seminar coming up on November 10th in Boca Raton. We have a company called Taxation Solutions. They're the leader in tax resolution. They're holding a free seminar. The seminar is going to focus on how to resolve your tax problems and why you shouldn't go up against the IRS alone. There's limited seating available for this free seminar. Call them today to reserve your seat at 877 Nine six six two four seven seven. Remember, this is a free seminar, I which mean, is wonderful. Which is, which listen, you, you never don't see want that. to go up yes. against the IRS. You don't. It's a scary thing. Again, this is a free seminar, and um, it's it's going to be held at the Boca Point Center, which is six nine zero nine Southwest Eighteenth Street. 
It's in Suite 301A. That's at 18th and Power Line. Again, it's on November 10th. It's at 7 p.m. Again, call them, 877-966-2477 to make your reservations. You know, Friday, it's the start of uh, Stone Crab. Is it? It is. Are you excited? Well, I mean. I love Stone Crab. You know I do. I know you do. So you want to talk about a couple of places yeah, to go for Stone Crab? Yeah, just give people some ideas okay, where they perfect. can go for Stone Crab. Okay, there's Riggins, which we just passed on yes. the way here. And Freddie and Linda have been there before. Have you? You guys have been there? It's yeah, good, he said. Up. And they're located in Lantana, and they've been in business for 20 years. You know, so it's going to be good. Yeah, well, okay. you would think. I want to try that place. Okay. And then Catfish Dewey's, and they're located in Fort Lauderdale, and they're serving stone crab for over 30 years. And they offer an all-you-can-eat for 75 to $95. How do they determine if it's 75 and 95 depending Probably on the how size big, and availability. I was about to say that. And, oh, it says that. You wrote that down for me. Isn't that nice of you? <laughs> You're so helpful. It's based on size and unlimited side dishes like baked potatoes, sweet potatoes, collard greens, and grits. Your favorite grits. I know. You love grits. I love grits. I've never tasted grits in my entire life. Well, we'll There's a Texan thing. No, we're not going to work on that. I'll make it for you tonight. Okay, we're not going to work on that. You'll have some borscht later. <laughs> <laughs> you have some borscht with sour cream. Know. I've already got have a you... bossy person. <laughs> I didn't say boss. Oh. We know I'm your boss. No, I'm just saying, have you ever had borscht? Are you, are you, uh, yeah, I'm asking are you. Seriously? Yeah, seriously. My mom is talking. I don't even know what it is. Okay, Check. and then there's Chulux in Boca, which I've had there. The stone crabs. I love it there. And they're in Boca in Fort Lauderdale. And they maintain their own fleet for crab fishing outside of Naples. Did you know that? I did. And they promised to get their fresh crab from their traps to your table within 24 hours. Let's go time it. Let's do it. Let's you want to time it. it? Yes. You want to sit in the restaurant and wait for it? Exactly. You have no life. <laughs> you do that. And they, too, offer all you can eat for around $79. Okay. And then Billy's Stone Crab Restaurant Market, located in Hollywood, and they offer all you can eat every night, seven days a week, depending on the availability. And their price range could go as high as $120 a person. But their stone crabs are huge. And the side dishes are extra. So that's just for the stone crab. It's not even for side dishes. And who you can't forget about Joe's Stone Crab. Hey, listen, 2J's, one of our big sponsors, they're do, you know, they have, they're famous for their black and white cookies. Which now they're, they're going to be doing. to die for. Famous pink and white cookies. And it's what that's going to happen is when you buy the pink and white cookies, they give you 10% off, which is going to go towards the Florida Breast Cancer Foundation. That's great. Yes, contribute to that. Okay, so well, today's show has been brought to you by our friends at Madison's New York Grill and Bar in Boca Raton, one of our top 20 restaurants and one of Steve-O and my favorites for lunch or dinner. Call them for reservations at 561 561- 9940808 and they're located west of 95 on Glades Road next door to Jared Jewelers. Hey, enjoy the game today. Go Remember, Dolphins. Without you, there is no us. Peace and love everyone. We're out. Money. You've been listening to the Eat and Critique Show with local restaurant critics Steve-O and Renee. Tune in again next week for more restaurant reviews, fine dining gift certificate giveaways, and interviews as Steve-O and Renee search for the good, the bad, and the ugly in fine dining experiences. To contact Steve-O and Renee, go to their website at www.theeatandcritiqueshow.com or go to their Facebook page. Thanks again for tuning in to the Eat and Critique Show here on Real Radio 94.3. Thank you.